With the introduction of the newest case file, we finally have SR Yellow Sue in the game. I am so excited to showcase this character and try her out. And as it turns out, she is actually really useful right now in the current climax battle that we have going on versus best genus. So if you don't know the strategy for best genus, the idea is that you want to power him down throughout the fight so that you don't get stunned. And then when you get to the last phase of best genus, you want to continue Continue to power him down and then on the third turn you want to use all of your plus ultras and kill him before he gets to plus ultra meaning you need to have higher speed than him that was the original way to beat best genus now since new characters have come out the strategy has shifted a little bit to using like meat lump or stun to beat best genus to where he never actually like enters his other phases and it makes it really easy to beat him we're going to be running a combination of those things with this team right here. We have Sage U for the Meat Lump. We have the Christmas Sue for her healing and her speed up, as well as her own power down. And then we have the new SR Sue for her power down on her plus ultra. Let's go ahead and take a look at what SR Sue can do with her skills. It's actually really, really solid for an SR character. Her plus ultra move is called Froppy Kick. It deals 500% damage to a single opponent, decreases the opponent's power by 25% for three turns. That is really, really important because that's gonna help us keep from getting stunned by all for one as we go throughout this fight. Next up, we have her alpha skill, Froppy Spear which deals 275% damage to a single opponent, also decreases the opponent's skill impact by 25% for three turns, giving us even more survivability by decreasing that skill impact. That's actually solid as well, especially when you're taking on Climax Battle. Next up, we have Decision Making Skills. Cancels one status element of all allies, heaven forbid one of them gets stunned, right? That's really nice. Also gives character the ability to hide for three turns, which is even better because that means now all for one has to either target Seiji, who's going to have the status element counter to meet lump all for one, or Sue, who has pretty good defense. And that is a cooldown time of four and three on those action skills, which is really, really solid. And then for her first auto skill, a frog specialties increases character's power by 30% when hiding, so she gets even stronger when she hides. Also, once per battle, regenerates character's HP by 10% for three turns when HP is below 50% if she ever drops to 50% HP, which is insanely good for an SR character. This is one of the best like free-to-play SR characters in my opinion. Really insane kit. Second auto skill, Splendid Tact, increases plus ultra gauge of all mine type allies by 20% when battle starts. So in this case, she'll only increase her own plus ultra gauge, but that's still good. Also, once per battle, increases characters plus ultra gauge by 25% when HP is below 50%. All around, a very, very, very solid and good kit for Sue. As you can see, I have her advanced leveling completely done up to like the first tier before you DX her. I do have to do the DX advanced leveling. I don't know if I'm going to do that because it costs a lot of resources and I'd rather put that into UR characters. But then for her ability board, I'll show you guys where I'm at. I got the first unlock level limit on the DX route and then the peace route is completely done. And for the basic route, we are on board 11. So she's not even as strong as she's going to get. Now, she's not going to do the most damage. I will say that outright. But she is mainly there for the power down and the skill impact down, which is going to be super, super helpful. So with all of that said, let's get into double S difficulty of the best genus climax battle. Best genus has 1,414,500 health. He has four phases in total. We are going to start with our power down from Christmas Sue since we do have to wait until turn three to use SR Sue's power down. So this right here is going to uh, decrease the opponent's power by 20% for four turns, giving us plenty of turns to make it to SR Sue's turn to do her power down. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to do Seiji's Meat Lump maybe try to meat lump him here and then we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to hide as uh, sue making him hopefully target seiji here in the upcoming terms we did get the meat lump which is beautiful all right and now we're going to go ahead and use these skills And that was 15,000 damage from an SR character. It doesn't look like a ton, but it's actually pretty decent. 
we got the meat lump counter and now we get to use our SR Sue's power down. And let's take a look at Best Genus real quick. You can see he is powered down for two more turns thanks to uh, Christmas Sue. So, but we're just going to add on to that and increase the amount of turns that he's powered down with SR Sue here. 52,000 from Seiji, insane damage. And then now he's in the next phase, so we'll do no damage right here, but that's fine. All right, and we get the phase shift. He is still meat lumped, it's kind of funny. Uh, now one disadvantage, right, is the cooldown times, but he's meat lumped, so we're okay. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and take a look here at where we are at for power down. So he's still powered down for this turn, which is nice, right? We got that going for us, thanks to our SR Sue. And then we're gonna be able to power him down again with Christmas Sue, and we just repeat. Really, really good. A lot of this does rely on meat lump though, so uh, it's kind of a risky strategy. All right, power down. Did not get the meat lump that time, but our Sue, our SR Sue is able to hide, so he has to target one of those two. Okay, he decided to target Sue all the way around right there. Hopefully this time he'll target Seiji. And then Seiji will get the counter, right? Uh, about 15,000 damage again from SR Sue. There we go, we got the counter, beautiful. I'm telling you guys, that hiding is like way better than you think it is. All right, so once again, we're gonna be able to decrease this power with SR Sue here. 54,000. We'll get to see how much damage she does now. 34,000 from the UR. 24 or 29 right there, but remember she's not type advantage like the other two, so that's actually pretty solid. He's powered down, so it's fine if he attacks us, we should be fine, no stuns incoming. We did, he did land his first attack on our SR Sue this entire battle, but she's about to hide again. All right, we'll power him down again with Christmas Sue. And hide our SR Sue. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and do our healing and our counter. There we go, that's some good damage. We finally landed a crit with SR Sue. That was actually really, really good damage. We did not get either of the status element counters there. Oof. Now this is a little bit more rough in terms of damage and getting through this quickly with this team, but I think this team can get us there. We don't have to worry about power, like powering him down because he's pretty much always powered down. We don't have to worry about him stunning us because of that. So that is one advantage. 52,000 damage from her? That was really, really good. That was insanely good. Do we go into the next phase? Oh, even better, we're in the next phase now. This is good, this is really, really good. We have our skills back up, let's go. Okay, we'll go ahead and hide. Power down. Beautiful. All right, now we do our status element counter. Speed up on the team and regeneration. And he got meat lumped again. Love it. Okay, now we get all our plus ultras. Let's see if we can hit some crits. 28,000, no crit, but we got the meat lump. So he's meat lumped for another turn. 60,000, that's really good. 30,000 without a crit. Not bad. Honestly, for an SR character, I am kind of impressed with her damage. Free to play SR character who is not fully up to board 13. Actually, really solid. All right, let's see if we can meat lump again. Ooh, we got it. And the power down. And the hide. Beautiful. Okay, now we're at the point where uh, my skills on Sue are starting to wear off. And this is where it gets a little bit dangerous, right? We should be able to just use these two here, though, to get us all up to plus ultra. But I had an action skill cooldown time memory on Christmas Sue. And so now we're not able to do a full skill check because we've reached our limit there. Oh, but we got the meat lump just in time. Perfect. Great timing. Okay, let's go ahead and plus ultra. Meat lumped again. Didn't get the crit, but we got the meat lump. That's good. No crit. Dang, man. We need to hit some more of these crits. Okay, 40,000 from her. That's good. Very helpful. All right, we wait a turn, right? And now I need to... Let's see where we're at on the power down. I don't think he's powered down anymore. Oh, he actually is, thanks to Sue. He had one more. He has one more turn of being powered down, so we're actually good. But I am going to use... Well, actually, do we? 
That's the question. I think we wait. Yeah, we wait the turn. He's powered down this turn, he won't do anything. We want to use the next turn. All right, we try to meet Lump. We do, successfully. All right, and this power down should take us into, hopefully, the next phase. It might, it might not, we'll see. All right, we're so close to the next phase. Do we enter it, though? Oh, no! No! Oh, we just didn't have enough damage to get there quickly enough. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, he should still be powered down, though. He is powered down. Let's see if we can end this off with these other units. Uh, we'll use Deku's plus Ultra here, and then hopefully that'll get us to the next phase, right? Yep. Okay, good. He's still powered down. All right, we entered the final phase. I don't know if we're going to be able to do enough damage with these two characters. Probably not realistically, but we're going to get pretty close. All right, so we got power down for two more turns. I'm not too worried about that. So we'll go ahead and we'll... Uh, Either way, we'll decrease his power here with Mineta. So we'll go ahead and do this. Decrease power. Okay, not much damage, obviously. Oh, we'll just don't kill Deku. Okay, Deku's still alive. We're good on that for now. <laughs> ah! All right. We need Deku to plus ultra. Otherwise, it's all over. And he's going to kill Deku, I have a feeling. Yep, there it is. There it is. Ah, we made it so far! Anyways, I have tested this before. <laughs> and it works, but unfortunately it's it's a very hard run to do without having the amount of damage you want. If you have Fantasy Bakugo, he might be a better character to use than like Seiji, honestly, just for the amount of damage. It's better than having the status ailments. But I was trying to show you guys like a team with mostly SR characters that worked out. And just to show you like how good the power down and skill impact down with SR Su actually is. So I feel like that was shown here. I'm a little bit sad that I didn't actually beat this climax battle in this run. But overall, I'm pretty happy with what we saw. And, you know, just let me know what you guys think of the SR Sue down in the comments. I think for a free to play Sue, though, she has a really strong kit and a really good kit. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And I will be uh, doing Tokoyami summons. Actually, this will probably come out after the Tokoyami summons. But yeah, check out that video uh, when it comes out, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.